Now this passage has a more specific question than usual, so we need to make sure that we are actually reading the question every time. We never know when the SAT is going to throw us a question that's more specific. What do some historians suggest about Maya civilization? Well, it's not that specific. In fact, it kind of looks just like a main idea question in disguise. But okay, so what do they say about Maya civilization? And, and the word suggest maybe means we're going to have to do a little bit of inferencing here, but let's see. Inferencing. Inferring. Inferring is the right word. Uh, starting with the passage. The ancient writing system used in the Maya kingdoms of southern Mexico and Central America had a symbol for the number zero. Okay. Statement. The earliest known example of the symbol dates to more than 2,000 years ago. At that time, almost none of the writing systems elsewhere in the world possessed a zero symbol. Okay. So almost none had zero. So maybe it's the first one. And the use of zero in Mexico and Central America may be even more ancient. Some historians suggest that Maya mathematicians inherited it from the Olmec civilization, which flourished in the region 2400 to 3600 years ago. Okay, so didn't they just say it at the end, right? Some historians suggest, right? <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it kind of odd that they use the same word? So that Maya mathematicians inherited it from the Olmec civilization. Well, let's look at the choices. I don't know what we're going to need here, but it seems like they're just giving us the answer. Maya civilization acquired the use of zero from the Olmec civilization. Okay, <laughs> is, is that just exactly what it said? Right, the last sentence. Some historians suggest that Maya mathematicians inherited it, zero, from the Olmec civilization. Choice A. Maya civilization acquired the use of zero from the Olmec civilization. There's like three words different, but they're just saying the same thing, right? They replaced the pronoun with the actual thing, and instead of inherited, they just use the word acquired. It's clearly this. Like, we should read the other choices, but this is like a gimme. You can't get something like this wrong. And this is why, you know, notice as I was going through, I wasn't really spending a whole lot of time summarizing this passage and trying to write things down or internalize what was going on. Just, you know, sometimes it's really easy. Keep it dumb and then only make more complicated summaries if you need to. Here they just literally said the answer. Let's look at B. Maya civilization respected its historians more than it respected its mathematicians. What? Respect? It's not about that. It's about zero. I don't know what they respected. Who cares? <laughs> historians. It's, uh, we are the historians looking at the Maya. It doesn't even make any chronological sense. See, Maya civilization was highly secretive about its intellectual achievements. What? They, they like didn't want to tell anybody that they knew what zero was? What are we talking about? This makes no sense. There's no secrets in here. Maya civilization tried to introduce its writing system to other civilizations. Well, it never says that, right? It, it says they got it from someone else, and it says that other places didn't have zero, but we don't know what the Maya did with that, right? So this is a good example of something that's just like a, a leap that may be true, but I, it's not in the passage. Hopefully, no one's even watching this video because the answer is so blatant here. But yeah, you gotta lock these Petwee's questions in, especially in the first module, can't afford to make mistakes. This is something that, yes, the SAT sometimes just literally says the answer in the passage. Just, you know, look for it, find it, and just do what the question tells you, and it shouldn't be a problem.